What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I wanna give you guys a quick market update as obviously you guys see a little bit of change of scenery. Uh, I'm unable to go live on my normal schedule. I am back in New York for the holidays, uh, spending some time with family, uh, but I can't leave the Candle Mafia hanging. You guys knew, you know, I told you I was gonna take some time off, but you know, I just can't stay away from the chart sometimes. Uh, and I can't stay away from the Candle Mafia, guys. I wanna keep you updated. I don't wanna leave you guys in the dark. Uh, so today I'm gonna give you a little bit of a breakdown on kind of what I'm thinking about the markets, what I would expect expect, you know, going into the weekend and the holidays, uh, as sometimes price action can be a little bit wonky on holidays. Uh, full disclaimer, I am taking a little bit of a step back from the uh, from actually trading, uh, just to spend some time with families, guys, uh, or just to, to families, I only got one family, uh, but just to spend some time with the family, guys, it is important to, you know, sometimes take a step back, take a deep breath, take in real life, stop staring at the screen, uh, enjoy your family, enjoy your loved ones, because uh, the charts will be, the charts will be there when you get back, right? There's always going to be another opportunity you're not going to catch every pump and every dump and you don't want to burn out right so uh but you know with that being said here i am trying to take some time off but making this video for the candle mafia because i don't want to leave you guys in the dark um so i'm gonna give you guys an idea of what i am thinking and uh the key levels that i'm looking at and kind of the range i would expect to trade in um because we do have some confusing things uh popping up on the charts right now so i'm just gonna give you those key levels show you the range that i would expect uh to trade in and kind of you know what i would expect if certain levels are broken which ones are more important than others uh just a typical market update as we do all the time here on the frankie candles youtube channel um and then we're gonna guys we're gonna do it we're gonna we're gonna show eth guys we're gonna show eth uh shout out to anybody who won the show eth and frankie candles university t-shirts um i believe that those were sent out if you don't have them just yet hang tight uh they are in the mail on their way as well as these frankie candles hats that we gave away uh earlier this week so Without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the charts so we can try to figure out what is going to happen. And just remember, guys, the holidays can make for some wonky price action. So just be careful out there, especially during this weekend and, you know, going into uh, the holiday, you know, as we are in the holiday season, uh, things can get a little bit weird on the charts. So uh, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the charts. So here we are, guys, on the Bitcoin for our chart. Um, and I just want to go up to the higher time frames and just kind of break down uh, what we're looking at here. I'm going to turn off all of our TA here real quick. Uh, and here we are, guys, the weekly bullish divergence, to be 100% honest with you, um, with this weekly VWAP coming down. It, it doesn't really look that good. Now, it's a little too early to tell. We will print another weekly candle here in about two days and six hours. But if this comes down and prints a red dot, it's probably not going to be looking too good unless the Santa rally comes in before that candle closes and uh, we finally get a big move up from this uh, weekly bull div. And there is some hopes of a small move to the upside, but I'm not really expecting anything too drastic. Um, and we're going to break that down a little bit more in just a second. Um, but that weekly VWAP curving down right here is not the best look. Coming down to your six day, same deal, uh, starting to cool off here. Uh, your five day as well is starting to cool off here. Looking to print that red dot here pretty soon. Your four day red dot, we've been looking at this on the channel for quite some time. This red dot has confirmed, but we are getting a little bit of a VWAP flip. If you go ahead and take a look here, we came down. Now the VWAP is curving back to the upside. Uh, so this is what I mean by confusing things uh, popping up on the charts, right? We have the VWAP trying to fight its way back up on the four day and the five day uh or i'm sorry on the four day uh five days looking to print a red dot the weekly's not looking that great but then you come down to the three day and uh you know you look at the three day on market cipher b and uh you know it, it looks like it's starting to roll back to the upside too early to tell if it's going to give us anything um but there are you know it is a little bit sketchy out there or a little bit unclear um but nonetheless uh you know four day red dot confirmed that's something we've been watching for a while so update that has confirmed five day red dot uh i believe this was printing at some point but is not printing anymore hence why i'm talking about a potential move to the upside in the short term um again not expecting a moonshot weekly bull div play out um but there are some things pointing to some movements to the upside in the near future so as we work our way down again three day looking to curve back up now your two day is starting to roll back up towards that zero line this two day does look like it wants to come up and print uh, a green dot we don't have a bull div here we don't have lower lows on our price but we do have higher lows on our momentum 
medium waves, which you guys know, even if you aren't getting the lower lows that we look for with these bullish divergences, typically when you have uh, your momentum waves making higher lows, like it looks like it wants to do here, too early to tell, um, but it does look like it wants to make a higher low here. Um, this is just showing that momentum wants to move to the upside. So just kind of another thing that is, you know, if we print this green dot, it would indicate that we could get a move up here. Uh, and then here's the big thing, not the big thing, but um, daily green dot is looking to print here very, very soon, guys. So this is, uh, I've been talking about this in the discords. Uh, you know, this is what I'm looking for for our next decent move to the upside. Uh, I would look for that green dot printing, but not only do we have that green dot, guys, we also have some confluence on the lower time frames that would be an agreement to get this move up. Um, and again, I don't want to, you know, sound like I'm being super bullish here. I'm not expecting a giant move to the upside, uh, but you know, uh, if I had to pick up or down, this is the reason why I would expect a move up. Uh, but Moving on here, looking at your 16-hour green dot confirmed, kind of flat with your VWAP there. Money flow also kind of flat. Again, very, very unclear charts right now. Uh, unfortunately, that's just sometimes we're here and, you know, things are as clear as day. And then sometimes you can get to the charts and it's just like every time frame's telling you something different. You can look at all the different indicators and everything is just telling you something different. Um, that's why I'm going to show you guys the key levels that you need to watch uh, to and what to expect if certain levels are broken. This is kind of how I hedge my bets, uh, not my bets but kind of how I hedge my TA. Um, if you have a lot of confusion between different indicators, which does happen very often, that's why you don't just want to trade off of indicators. Um, but, you know, if you have these key levels and you use things like volume profiles, it can give you x-ray vision into the market to kind of give you an idea of what would happen if certain levels are broken. So, um, with that green dot uh, on the 12 hour as well, uh, confirmed VWAP actually looking pretty healthy. Again, kind of pointing to a move to the upside. Your eight hour uh, looking to cool off here a little bit. VWAP starting to roll back over. Coming down to your four hour, looking to print a red dot here as well. Again, uh, you know, mixed signals here. Four hour would say cool off. Um, but again, that daily green dot is not printing just yet. So we could potentially see this red dot form uh, on the four hour. We get a little bit of a cool off and then that daily starts to roll back to the upside and then that you get a little bit of a pullback before another move up. Um, coming down to your two hour, two hour green dot printing, right? Now, um, you know, I was just talking about how not only do we have the daily green dot, but we have some things on the lower time frames also pointing to the upside. And uh, some of those things are not only the two hour green dot that is now printing. Um, and by the way, for anybody curious, uh, uh, you know, with these pre-records, uh, I am recording this at 2.01 p.m. on December 23rd, um, 2022. So uh, for anyone who's curious, you know, uh, I know a lot of people are concerned uh, for the pre-records like oh is an information outdated um not all of it's going to be outdated but obviously there are going to be some, a bunch of one minute five minute 10 minute 15 minute candles that might happen in between now and when it's uploaded um but for the most part that daily green dot's probably going to be in a very similar situation um so just giving you guys a general overview of the market here so uh two hour green dot printing at the time of this recording uh, this is one thing that would agree with that daily starting to roll back to the upside. Uh, but even more interestingly, guys, we have that one hour green dot printing. But not only that, guys, we also have the money flow crossing over into the green. So this may be a good, uh, this may be a pretty good sign. Uh, okay. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, green dot is invalidated. We're getting a VWAP flop here. Um, you just saw that happen live, I think, unless I'm blind and that was there the whole time. I do think that just popped up uh, while we were filming. Um, so again, very confusing things. But again, you know, green dot, red dot, whatever. Um, money flow is what I would watch. So as long as this money flow stays in the green, that is a decent sign, especially with the green uh, dot looking to print on the daily as well as your money flow, guys. Typically, when you get the 90-minute money flow, um, you know, with, uh, with the daily, Daily or the higher daily time frame starting to roll to the upside. Uh, you could back test this. You do actually see pretty big moves. Uh, very similar to um, you know when you look for those medium hourly time frame green dots um, with the lo lower time frame money flows crossing into the green. Um, you know if you back test these guys, it's it's very very uh, powerful. You do see a lot of big movements. Um, so with the 90 minute and that green dot, uh, with the 90 minute money flow in the green uh, and also looking to print a green dot, this could assist the daily to push to the upside. Um, so this is like a, a, another thing that really, really makes me think that, you know, if we're not just going to consolidate um, and, and don't forget, guys, you know, this daily green dot could print, unprint, print, unprint. Um, it has to, you know, it has... A green ca uh, green candle. A candle is only printed every 24 hours on the daily time frame. So, um, you know, it's not even printing yet, but you have to try to, you know, look forward and uh, predict what's going to happen before it actually happens. So, 
if we get this green dot on the 90 minute and then money flow stays in the green and then we get that uh and then we get that green dot on the daily it could give us a little bit of move to the upside again not trying to be super bullish here wouldn't expect too much juice out of it um and i would expect some wonky price action just because of the holidays um but with that being said let's come down to the lower time frames here and uh you can see here in the short term 10 minute money flow coming out 12 minute money flow also coming out and then your 15 minute is also coming out pretty aggressively so um you know in the micro term or the super short term again you want to remember four hour red dot is printing if we get these money flow crossovers into the red on the micro time frames uh between the one and the 15 minute those money flow crossovers along with that four hour red dot can be very powerful you have a bunch of confirmed blood diamonds here on the 15 minute um so that could bring you down in the short term but then more medium term is where i would expect that move up so i would expect a little bit of a pullback maybe um with the money flow coming out of lower time frames and the four hour red dot um and then once you get that little pullback that's where you can actually see um that's actually where you can see that little move to the upside right so you get maybe a little bit uh come down to the one hour maybe we get or yeah one hour red dot as well if that confirms that could be where we start to see this come down um but then once that four hour red dot prints we may get that little pullback and then the daily winds up printing that green dot money flow has already gone into the red on the lower time frames as it has started coming back up and then that's where you get the move to the upside now let's come down to the 15 minute and i want to show you guys some of the levels that i'm watching because there are some important levels here uh now i'm going to go ahead and get rid of this volume profile um and these are the major levels that i'm looking at guys and that is going to be this range between about 1796 and about 16362 and you know we've kind of been ranging around in you know around this area for quite some time if you zoom out a little bit you can see we're just kind of hang out down here come to the middle of the range uh it, or i'm sorry to the top of the range then we deviated from the range came back in then we got sucked to the bottom of the range and now um basically right now what we are doing is hanging out in the middle now if you are out there trading these holiday markets i personally do not like to take trades unless i am clearly at the top or the bottom of a range and right now at least looking at this macro range um we are in the middle i don't like taking trades from the middle of the range i'd much rather come up to a strong resistance like this value area high or come down to this strong support uh, being this value area low. So because we're in the middle, I don't really like to take trades from here. However, there are there is some information we can pull from here. When you are above the POC, if we can hold this as support, depending on that four hour red dot, that four hour red dot might break us below. But if typically when you do hold the POC, you can see we came up support, support, uh, you know, support, uh, holding pretty nicely up here uh, but you know the more times you knock on a door the more likely it is to open um, and in this case the uh, the door is actually the floor um, but with that being said guys if we can hold essentially above this level uh, uh this poc i would expect to potentially uh, especially if we are up here when we get that green dot we could light we could potentially start working our way on top of this blue box and work our way back up towards that value area high coming in at seventeen thousand ninety six dollars um where i would be if i was trading i would be looking for some short opportunities however with the money flow coming out on the 15 minute so aggressively uh you know and all of these lower time frames having the money flow coming out i do think there is a chance we break this poc to the downside before that uh daily and potentially that two day start printing the green dots um and we might get pushed back above it um so this is the level to watch right now we are sitting right on this key level of support which is that poc uh, and then again, if we can hold it, look for a move up to that value area high. However, if the 15 minute money flow, lower time frame money flow, and those red dots on the, uh, you know, that one hour red dot that just started to print, that four hour red dot, um, looking to print, you know, somewhat soon here, maybe in the next, uh, you know, day or so, uh, that is where I would look to or start worrying that we may break it, bearishly retest. And if we do that, uh, you know, I will likely, uh, will likely be looking for a move all the way. Uh, I don't know if I'd immediately be looking for a move all the way back down to uh, the value area low, but we would be looking to work our way slowly uh, back down to that value area low. So when you have all these mixed signals on the indicators, guys, you can look at these volume profile ranges to kind of have an idea or give yourself an idea of what price might do, uh, you know, more in the... Uh, 
just give you a little bit more insight into the levels you need to be watching, right? Because right now we're getting bullish and bearish signals, but because we know we're above the POC, if those bullish signals confirm, we can look to hold this as support. But if the bearish signals confirm, we can look for a breakdown, and now we know where those targets are to the downside uh, if we do break lower. And then, guys, I do just want to show you uh, a couple of more local levels uh, if we go ahead and just remove these drawings real quick and pull our fixed range volume profile. Do you just want to pull a little bit of volume? volume right here. Um, actually, I do want to bring these drawings back. Uh, but if you bring these fixed range pro, uh, volume profile and we analyze the volume traded in this smaller range that we have here, another key level I would be watching, guys, is going to be this level here where we have our value area low as well as a local golden pocket. Um, so if we do lose the POC and get a move to the downside, uh, you guys will remember I was talking about potentially slowly making our way back down towards that value area low. Um, but it wouldn't be an immediate drop down to that level, most likely. Um, but this would be a very big key level that I would be looking at if we do lose that POC and come down um, because we do have the value area low as well as a local golden pocket here. And that level is coming in at about $16,680. Um, so that's going to be another key level if we lose that POC to look for a potential bounce. So if that four hour red dot does wind up breaking us down all the way to this level, if we start getting that green dot on the daily 90 minute money flow back in the green and we start seeing some lower time frames, have the money flow come back up into the green. We have some medium hourly green dots um, or medium hourly time frame green dots. Uh, if we get some bullish signals down here, that might be where that daily green dot starts to play out. And uh, that's where uh, the higher end of those targets, if we get a big move up from that daily green dot, I'd watch the value area high at 17,096 and some potential wicks potentially uh, is kind of where I would start looking, um, you know, wicks up to these highs here, which does, you know, top out around $17,400. I don't know if we'll make it that high, um, but if we break out of the value area high, you guys will know a lot of times, um, you know, you'll kind of come up to the high of the range and then you'll put in higher highs and just wick out of the range momentarily, similar to what we did here, here, and here, um, you know, if we do do that, I would look for potential moves out of that value area up until about $17,400. Um, and with that being said, guys, I do just want to take a quick stop off at ETH. Um, I know you guys can't see my face right now, obviously, on a little bit of a laptop setup here, um, but I am holding up my show ETH t shirt. Um, but uh, yeah. Taking a look at Ethereum, guys, uh, one thing to take note of on Ethereum is going to be that we it does look like we have some potential bearish divergences forming on the four hour. You can see our momentum waves making some lower lows. Uh, I'm sorry, lower highs. And we have our price action making some higher highs. Uh, not the strongest divergences, guys, uh, but we are, you know, you do have the discrepancy between your oscillator and your price action. Your price is going up, your oscillator is going down, saying, hey, price is slightly moving up, but momentum is kind of coming out. Um, so if we print a red dot here, uh, that could be a good opportunity to get a little bit of a move to the downside. Some levels underneath that I would be looking at would be about um, 12,011 uh, or 12,000. Oh, God, guys, ETH is at $12,000. Uh, $1,211. And if you pull some local golden pockets, see where those pop up. Um, you know, you do have some levels down here at about uh, $1,200 even. Obviously going to be a little bit of psychological support there as well. Um, so I would look for potential pullbacks down to here. Uh, and then if we lose that, you have the 786 coming in at $1,194. Um, and then if you zoom out and just look at our VP VR you could see, uh, you know, we start to lose a decent bit of volume. Um, you know, once you lose that $1,200 level, uh, you know, 1184, uh, 1170 going to be some uh, other levels you can watch. And then you have your local value area low here at about 1150, which would be another level to watch. You could see we tapped this level almost perfectly right here. Um, so, uh, look out for that four hour bearish divergence on Ethereum. Looking at the daily, looking a little bit different than Bitcoin, actually. You actually do have the green dot, which is confirmed. And uh, we actually didn't get too much of a move off of this. Uh, we are starting to come up, um, but green dot confirmed. Money flow actually not looking the healthiest. So, again, the mixed signals are out there, guys. But now you have some levels on Ethereum and Bitcoin to take a look at. Um, really wanted to be the, uh, really wanted this to be a quick little holiday update, but wound up turning into a little bit more of that. Um, um, but hey, once you start looking at the charts uh, and you start seeing the sauce, you got to look at everything. Um, and then just to show you guys a little, uh, you know, another reason why I'd be very careful right now and why things are looking a little bit confusing um, would be, let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and delete this volume profile uh, and get rid of this line. 
Um, you know, another reason why things are looking like they can be uh, potentially a little bit confusing. If you pull up the uh, BitLab trading suite here and we look at our significant movement indicator, let me minimize the rest of them. Um, you know, you have your significant movement down here, you know, on the 30 minute, we have unshaded waves uh, indicating kind of indecision slash arranging market. Um, come up to your one hour, you know, you see slightly red waves, but they are unshaded indicating consolidation. Um, your four hour also unshaded waves indicating consolidation or raging ranging markets um you know and and this is all over look at all of this all this whole time this whole time that we've kind of just been ranging obviously we got a little bit of move up and down here but when you zoom out i mean we are just kind of moving sideways here completely unshaded waves this is why i love the significant movements indicator um but you can just see here guys the unshaded right this is all indicating um you know consolidation or ranging markets so uh you know it is a little bit sketchy out there uh as far as trying to predict exactly what is going to happen happen in the markets right now guys uh but with that being said i think that's all i got for this video be careful out there the mix signs are out there but now you guys have the key levels um and that volume profile range so you guys know if certain levels break what to expect um you know knowing where those value area highs and those value area lows are and don't forget if we break that poc on bitcoin to the downside don't forget that value area low and golden pocket confluence we have coming in um at about let's see here um at about 16 680. so Again, with all that being said, guys, that is all the time I have for this market update. Again, guys, we will uh, we will have a little bit of a wonky schedule here with my uploads. Uh, I may try to go live from here. I don't know how it's going to go. Uh, I don't know how well the how good the internet is here. Um, but you guys will get updated with these market updates, as I told you before I left. And I will be in and out of those discords. But again, I will be trying to take some time to relax with my family, clear my head so we could come back after the holidays and hit the ground running and hit 2023 at full speed uh, and keep crushing this content for you and with all that being said for a third time that's all i got for this video i'll see you in the next one frankie candles out merry christmas Bing bong. here we go at the top of the class on a roll and it's time to run it up yeah you know maxed out put the pedal to the floor hey on the road here we go here we go yeah we winning by a landslide